work hard. Be somebody. Yeah. And be something more than what you see in the mirror. Yeah. Let the world be your mirror. Don't let them judge you. Because the mirror can't judge you. You judge what you see in the mirror. What's up, YouTube? It's Terry Knight. I'm back with another video. I'm about to be reacting to um, Jimmy Highroller again. His videos are like, what do you, what do you want me to tell you? Like, my views are usually good when I, when I uh, react to the videos. So, because everybody, everybody knows his videos are lit. His videos are interesting. Like, he's probably one of the only guys that I would have watched. I think there's this other, there's other um, channels about basketball and, and um, yeah, channels like this. Type of HLA, like ball facts, it's pretty good. Um, yeah, I think there's, there's other ones. I can't remember this one guy from UK. I can't remember his. I can't remember his hand. I don't know. But about to get into the video. It's called "What They Won't Tell You About um, Kevin Durant's Return." So yeah, about to get into this. Uh, if you haven't been watching basketball, to update you. Um, on everything, Kevin Durant is going off. It's scary because he's so efficient with his scoring. He's barely missing, um, and also Kyrie, he's barely making mistakes, putting up 30, 40 points with like eight assists on like one turnover, which is crazy. Because when you're point guard, you have the ball in your hands, you're facilitating. You're 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 gonna um, average more turnovers than, than the other players than like other players on the team because you, know, you don't have the ball. Because like, yeah, you have the ball more than other guys, so like, they're just looking scary, and that's just looking crazy. But I'm about to get into this video, I'm I'm, just, I'm interested in um, watching this. I'm sure you're interested in watching this too. Um, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Come on, subscribe. Uh, it doesn't it doesn't cost you anything, man. All you have to do is tap the button. That's all. You don't have to pay anything. It's zero, zero do dollars, zero dollars. Zero dollars. Come on. Tap that subscribe button. I'm trying to get to 1K ASAP so my so my uh, channel can get monetized and, and try to get this, this channel lit and and um, reach more people. And I would like for you to like like the video too so I can reach more people. I'm um, getting to that algorithm. You feel me? So um yeah, I'm about to get this video. This gift from my friend Sheridan. I thought she knows I want to learn how to cook, so I tried to find. Here are some notable NBA players who have suffered a major Achilles injury dating back to the 70s. There are some good players, some great players, and a handful of Hall of Famers. Achilles injuries suck. A lot. Out of these 17 players, four were benched after their devastating Achilles injury, and four others either retired yeah, or left the NBA the as a result of the injury. The other eight were lucky enough to still play at even remotely close to the same level they played at pre-injury. And even then, their return to the NBA was not pretty, and their entire game was altered for the rest of their career. Natalie can sustain. It's the closest thing to an immediate farewell tour. Which leaves us with one of the greatest players to ever lace up and his long-awaited return to action that may be one of the greatest comeback stories we've ever seen, or like many other stars before him, may just be the beginning of the end. Hmm? In a study conducted earlier this year regarding the prognosis of elite basketball players after an Achilles tendon rupture, researchers found that out of 12 NBA players that were being monitored throughout their rehabilitation, only one may. If you want to know more about running a bank in the cloud with Terminos, then tune in to find out more. Made a full recovery to his pre injury peak. In that same study, researchers found that players on average experienced a 43% drop in performance during their immediate return to play, but slowly regained up to 80% of their pre-injury performance level. In other words, players that came back from major Achilles injuries returned to play about half as good, and eventually worked their way back to about 80% of their pre-injury peak. 
just 80%. And those who made it back that far are considered the lucky ones. Kevin Durant has spent 18 months recovering from a devastating injury in the finals two seasons ago. A rehab timeline that is twice as long as the average time it takes for NBA players to make their return to action. And although we've only seen him in a handful of games since his return, what we've seen from KD looks very promising. His first step looks quick. Yeah. He has no hesitation Spurs. on his pull-up game. He's making great rotations on defense and contesting shots. He's getting up the court surprisingly fast in transition. And he's making quick cuts in the lane and getting to the hoop like a vintage KD would. It almost feels unsettling to see Kevin Durant back on the court. So many fans and analysts quick to push him out of their top players list because of his injuries, which is understandable. Until you see that silky smooth jumper of his snap back to reality and remind yourself, this guy just might be the best player on the planet. But more... Um... Second best. Nothing less, nothing more. Um, he's, he's number two. We can't write it. Any, any other ranking would be wrong. There's only one person that's better than him in the NBA. Only one person that's better than him. LeBron. Best player in the NBA. Come on. What? They're, they're going to say, oh, he's injured. He had Achilles injury. But it's Kevin Durant. Come on. He's different. He's different. He is different. You know that already. All these other players that, that tore their Achilles, it's like, it's going to be hard for them to come back. But, like, this guy is just, he's different. You see how he's playing now. No one, like, I don't think, I don't think I've um, seen a person come back from Achilles injury other than, like, Kobe. That's came back and is and still doing the same thing he did before. Like, see, those guys are different. Like, there's levels to it. Like, there's only a few guys that can do that. So, like, it just doesn't matter. <laughs> it just doesn't matter. They're going to come back 100%. So, yeah. More reassuring than anything we've seen so far is Katie's aggressiveness in these preseason games. He's getting to the rim at will, and instead of settling outside, he's blowing by elite defenders and showing athleticism that makes no sense from a 32-year-old 7-footer coming off of a ruptured Achilles. I think even the most loyal Durant fans had high levels of concerns on Katie's return. Would he be able to rise up on his shots the same? Would he be able to create space on offense the same? Would he still be a triple threat with the ball in his I, hands? I didn't think, or would he be destined to have any young threes? He's gonna come back and not days. be the same player. Well, in about 90 minutes of action this season, like, Kevin Durant is special. Like, he just Kevin Durant is back. seven, and it is foot. a beautiful thing to see. Because I don't crossing up guys like a guard, just shifty like a guard, just shoot the ball like a guard. Likely or unlikely, it was probably that better than most guards. See an elite Kevin Durant again. For some perspective, take a wild guess at how many NBA players have never returned to the like NBA after a torn or ruptured Achilles. Five percent, maybe fifteen. He's one of the best at doing it, and he's seven Try foot. Try forty percent. Four out of every ten and NBA rising players up and that shooting had the over same injury like, Kevin Durant had. He's always going to be seven foot, to and he's always NBA. he's always going to be able to For shoot example, the ball. For example, let's look at this list. So he's just shooting over people. That's, that's, that's the gift he has. So. Yo, this Q Richardson. He's sitting here chopping it up with Jason Tatum and Tyler Hero. This is City Ties. New DeMarcus Cousins has been fighting to return to his pre-injury performance level, and still, three years later, he's still a shell of his former self. John Wall was an all-NBA point guard before his injury, and now we'll be fortunate if James Harden accepts him as an adequate sidekick. Who even knows when we'll see Klay Thompson again? Even the late, great Kobe Bryant only played in 42% of all games in the three seasons following his Achilles tear and averaged just 19 points per game despite averaging 27 leading up to his injury. In uh, fact, out of all of the players on this list... I mean, I guess, yeah. But then again, if you actually watch the games, he, he had games where he was going crazy. You could see that he's playing. I, it's like it, nothing happened. It's like he didn't have a Achilles injury. He might have games where he where they sit him out because he's getting older. They want to um, they preserve his body like so he can play throughout the whole season. That's probably what it was. But there's games where he had 40, 50, 60 after the Achilles injury. 
It happens, but Kobe, Kobe's one of those guys that came back, and I think he was still as good as he was before, but it's just like they probably didn't play him as much or they didn't, they didn't play him like all, throughout the whole, like every game like they would before. Or he, he might have just had some bad games, bad, bad shooting games. But, like, from what I know, Kobe was Kobe after he got back from his, his injury. Like, even though he had a couple games, I remember when he came back from his injury where he wasn't himself. But he had, he had games where he was putting up 40, 50, 60, so, especially his last game. So, yeah. A one made a full recovery, and that's Dominic Wilkins. So, what does that give us? A 25% chance of being benched into obscurity, a 25% chance of retiring or leaving the NBA, a 44% chance of still resembling the player you once were, and a 6% chance of a full recovery. Not the biggest sample size, but I still don't like those odds. But if those numbers weren't eye-opening enough, check this out. Here's a graph of those same 16 players with their overall production of points, rebounds, and assists in the season before their Achilles injury. Excluding a couple players, nearly all of them putting up elite numbers. Now, here's their overall production in the season following their Achilles injury. Every single player either retired or I mean, or yeah, here's a point, here's a point, here's a point. Achilles injury does mess you up a lot, but... I'm telling you, there's there's a couple guys that can get through and it can come back. Maybe not be consistently as as good as they were before, but they will have games. Well, they they'll look like like even better. They might even look better or or the same as they were before the, their injury. Cause Kobe had games, as I said before, where he looked like he was Kobe before the Achilles injury, for sure. Especially his last game, where he put up 61, I believe. Then Kevin Durant, last two games, he he played like nothing happened to him a couple of years ago. It was yeah, it was two years ago against um Toronto in the finals. Like he's yeah he, he I like like he didn't he never had an Achilles injury. He came back like the same, shooting probably even shooting better um and more efficiently. He's probably one of the most efficient scorers to ever touch the basketball. So I feel like. It affected him, but I feel like he's still gonna play the way he was playing before. Just off the fact that he's so gifted that he's seven one and he can shoot over people and he can he can shift people and create a shot like a guard. So he's still doing that after the the injury. So worse after their devastating he's injury. Different. He's other different. than Dominic Wilkins, all stars turn into rotational players after an Achilles injury. Brandon Jennings was a rising star before his injury. Yeah, after, Brandon Jennings. So Ten points. Brandon Jennings. He was supposed to be. He was. I don't know. His ceiling was high. It was very high. I'm not even sure what would happen if he didn't get injured. He might have. Might have been one of the best scoring guards of all time. Who knows? Because the way he was, he was scoring in the playoffs when he was. Um, I don't know if it was the second year, or first year. I don't know. He had some. He had a ridiculous amount of points, like forty some points in a, in a playoffs game, in his second year, I believe, or some probably higher than that. Actually, I have to check it. It was something crazy, but yeah, he was he was a rising star. He was supposed to be one of the best players, best point guards in NBA, and one of the best players in NBA at one, at one point. But he just got injured, like, and but that, that helps his point. Brandon Jennings was supposed to be a, a amazing player, but. Got an Achilles injury, so it's what it is. Was considered a productive night for him. DeMarcus Cousins went from one of the best big men in the entire league to playing 30 games in two seasons. I feel like DeMarcus Cousins can still get back to that. Though. Fell off a cliff after his Achilles injury. Anderson Vergeau retired. Elgin Baylor retired. Isaiah Thomas retired. Mario Chalmers playing over in Timbuktu, Italy. And then there's Kevin Durant. So if you had to predict where he'd end up a year from now, what would your prediction be? I got this gift NBA? from my friend Sharon. I thought she knows I want to learn how to cook. So I tried to find be in the NBA. But just seeing Durant still putting up buckets is just awesome. Still no, averaging still 26 a game. Of course you will have to continue to still ease be his a, way a, back into full minutes and full speed. Could you imagine the or idea just, of losing yeah, one sure, of the most unguardable players of all time? Unless the Raptors have something to do with losing. To an Achilles injury? 
Could you imagine if we never even, got to see KD play the again? Roster what would his right legacy now, look like? And how would he be remembered in hindsight? His numbers don't do him any justice. In 20 years, if my son asked me how good Kevin Durant was, there's no way 27 points per game and a pair of rings even comes close to explaining his uncanny and alien-like skill set. The man is unguardable. Yeah, he's, he's not, he'll give you a 40 piece like and 18 shots, other, and you'll seriously um, wonder if he's even trying. And we are fortunate that Kevin Durant plays in an era where new techniques and protocols like for rehabbing and recovering star. now allow players to at least have like hope that they'll make a full recovery. Different. Even 20 years ago, the idea of a 7-footer potentially being able to reach his pre-injury peak after a torn Achilles was absurd. According to a 2013 medical study that identified 18 players who suffered from a major Achilles injury, the thing is, the thing is, was crazy though. Um, usually, like taller players, um, usually have like a shorter career because when they get injured or like, um, when they get injured, if they have like knee problems, like just because they're so tall, it's like, it's like it's hard for their knees to just like to withstand all the, the, the mileage they have on the knees and then the mileage they put on the knees and, and, and just your body in general. So just from the injuries, every, as everything's connected, you know, the a, the, AC, um, the ACL injuries and stuff like that, as a taller person, most likely they, they wouldn't have much of a career after um, the, a, the ACL injury. But Kevin Durant came back and is looking better than ever. So like I said, he's different. <laughs> <laughs> he's different so i don't know because usually i don't know if it's for seven footers like it's, it's usually like the, the yao mings and guys like that like bobo and those guys they would have to like um it's probably that's probably the reason why denver doesn't play bobo because because they're trying to save him so he doesn't um have a short career because taller guys they have problems with that with their knees their body they're just their body just wears down from just um all that, that, the running up and down, and, and later on their career is their, their career gets shortened. So, yeah. Players but Kevin Durant, I don't see league, that happening to him. Three players only played one season. Plus, he doesn't have much weight on him, too. Players so. who did return missed an average of 56 games and saw their PER decline considerably in their first and second seasons back. But it doesn't take a basketball savant to see that Kevin Durant has spent the last 18 months with a laser focus on making his return to the game. The best players in the world spend their entire careers trying to perfect a shot like this. Yeah. My man Durant said, hold my Achilles, I'm going to smack this three real quick. <laughs> you just can't teach this. And in the case of Kevin Durant, it looks like not even a ruptured Achilles can stop it. Hope you all enjoyed. And as always, yes, until next fact. time. Yes, it's a fact. Not even a ruptured Achilles could, could, um, could affect it. I'm telling you. Oh yeah, ranking every current NBA duo and best of worst. I put that video up um, today, so yeah, go watch that video. I reacted to it. Uh, yeah, he was he was on point. He was he was um, it was all facts. It was all facts. Yeah, this 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 uh this video was a one. So yeah, Kevin Durant. It's not gonna stop him. It's Achilles injury. So is what it is. Like it's not much to say. It's Kevin Durant. Like he said in the vi uh, the uh, interview last last year, I'm Kevin Durant. You know who I am. Like, like <laughs> it's true. You might sound cocky saying that, but it's true. You know who Kevin Durant is. The ACL injury, like as crazy as it is, I don't think it's gonna affect him his game because I think he's fully recovered now and he looks like he's he's back in this element and he's going to work. And he looks even more efficient and, and, and more healthier. So, uh, yeah, that's it for the video, man. Like, comment, subscribe. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Like I said before, it doesn't doesn't cost you anything. Just tap that button. Um, yeah, new videos coming out soon. About to have a lot of lit videos coming up. You guys are about to see that. Uh, so all you need to do is hit the subscribe button. Um, tap the 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 notification bell and yeah and like the video so yeah stay lit stay blessed and i'm out